Hey folks, today we're diving into Venom 3. Is it a complete dumpster fire or is it worth watching? And of course, this is a spoiler-free movie review. First off, Venom 3 introduces us to Null, a fan-favorite character from the comics. Null is the god of the symbiotes, so he made Venom, and he is a being so powerful that he makes Thanos look like a pushover. And while we do get to see Null in the movie, we only get him for a handful of scenes including a flashback, so featuring him so heavily in the trailer and the marketing, as they did, I feel like it was a bit deceptive. It is also a bit of a relief because there's no way a single movie, especially a standalone Venom movie, could adapt Null in a way that does justice to his comic book version. But having him as a post-credits reveal, like they did with Thanos back in 2012, I feel like that would have been the better route to go. Most of the movie ends up just being Venom fighting soldiers and CGI creatures that are in service to Null. I have to say though, I am surprised this movie managed to keep a PG-13 rating. Some of these kills are R-rated horror movie brutal. They don't cut away. The camera doesn't pan away. These kills are on the screen the entire time and they happen frequently and they are seriously bloody. It's absolutely great to watch. And of course, we got the staple one F-bomb per PG-13 movie and it was pretty funny. Where the movie really shines is the buddy dynamic between Eddie and Venom. Their banter is absolutely hilarious, and the humor is dialed all the way up. There are a ton of laughs to be had, but this is also where Venom 3 stumbles. It falls into the same trap that Thor Love and Thunder did. The film constantly shifts from super lighthearted or funny scenes to dark and serious, high stakes moments. And they, these cuts come out of the blue, they come out of nowhere. One minute you're laughing at Venom, dancing, and the next you're thrown into this dark, intense scene where you're supposed to really feel the weight of the situation. But it's hard to get invested in it because the tone of the movie keeps swinging so wildly. Thor Ragnarok balanced humor and seriousness really well, but Thor Love and Thunder leaned too heavily into the comedy, much like Venom 3, and it undercuts the more serious tone and moments of the movie. It almost feels like they went full Deadpool. As for the story, it's pretty weak. Eddie and Venom are mostly drifting from place to place with an end goal that really doesn't make much sense. They're being hunted throughout the movie, which drives most of the action and plot forward, they have an end destination, but the plot feels kind of aimless throughout most of the movie. That said, despite its flaws, I still think Venom 3 is worth a watch. The action is solid, the humor is great, it's top tier. And the movie does a decent job of closing out the trilogy of Eddie Brock and Venom, while still setting up Null for a potential future appearance, hopefully in the MCU as a big bad. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more reviews.